Okay, it is Wednesday. Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday, July 22nd. In the insane asylum. Where 95 degree weather, you are seeing people riding their bikes, wearing masks. You know, has that, have anyone noticed, you know, I, I stupidly thought putting some of the new baseball, live baseball that's back on, might bring a little bit of normalcy, some baseball in the background during dinner here and there, or catching a few innings here and there. Has anyone noticed the ridiculousness of what they're trying to sell as the baseball season? You got batters going up to hit, right? And they got their helmets on with black fucking masks. Now, not all of them, doesn't matter. You know, the, the, you'll notice the more popular ones are wearing them because it's all about brainwashing. But dude's up there with a black mask. You can only see his eyes. He's got the helmet on. Looks like fucking Cobra Commander, Cobra Operative up there. And the people running this psychological behavioral modification psyop are laughing their balls off. Um, so needless to say, 18 seconds of that off. There'll be no baseball watching this season. Maybe I'll catch some games on the radio, which uh, I grew up listening to Harry Car- Callis and uh, Richie Ashburn on the radio. So maybe we'll try it that way. Try to add a little normalcy, but never accept this bullshit. You know, it's funny, again, that we're at the point in this season where people are accepting that waiting in line at a restaurant and wearing a mask outside is necessary, but when you cross the threshold outside into the tented dining area outside, you then can take your mask off and eat and you're good because the COVID smart virus goes up and goes, oh, that's the dining area and bounces off. We can't get in. Let's go back to the people in line and see if we can find any holes in the mask. People not wearing the mask, you know? fucking smartest virus on the planet, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Calgon, take me away. Remember that old fucking commercial? I, I, I need, I'm the chick in the tub. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> Again, if the stupidity of people was just a comedy skit, we could sit here and laugh all day. But the reality of it is their ignorance, their apathy, their mental ineptness and their baby mindsets based in ignorance which they believe is uh, you know their right which is not to force things on the other people is what they're going to use to drive the loss of your freedoms you know um, they always sick us on each other that's the divide and rule factor that has kept them in control of this planet as you know the owners of money and resources and, and government and, and, and keepers of the knowledge. I don't know. Forever? Forever. <laughs> I got a lot of movies stuck in my head today. What was that? Oh, was that... Is that Sandlot, I think? Yeah, Sandlot. Forever. I don't know. You can see where my movie watching. You know, you get some... Some history of the world drops, some Bill and Ted drops, some Sandlight drops, <laughs> Sandlot drops. Uh, if you're my age, you'll get it. If you're not, it's okay. <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> um, so the question is, are people that start are starting to see this, are people that realize now, because they've either had, like in the ha- case of this house here, an awake person spouting this to an asleep home. Uh, Not necessarily my kids as their parent, but you know, uh, as many people go through, um, spouses that will not awaken and then trying to raise their their children with two opposite, um, you know, mindsets of what is real and true, one being factual and one being perceptual. Uh, becomes a problem. Well, I hope for others in the world, as it has for me, as this has manifested in front of everyone physically, all of the things that I have been saying to my spouse has opened her eyes to see what is occurring when it occurred. You know, instead of having to try to convince her 
that this is happening because now she's been hearing it for years. So all of a sudden, the manifestation of this thing whew, has lifted a veil. Only one, many veils to go. But why I bring this up is I'm very proud of my wife. She'll never see this, but I've already told her this. She's not gonna watch my videos. She lives with me 24 seven. She's not gonna subject herself to this. She gets it all day. Um, however, <laughs> um, my wife was faced with the opportunity to return back to a second job that she worked one day a week, which was ridiculously, stupidly good money. And the stipulation was she needed to take a COVID test. Um, she immediately refused and explained that she didn't feel comfortable and why. And uh, funnily enough, went on to find out that it wouldn't have just been one test to bring her back. They were going to, they test these people weekly. The person that called her says, yeah, you know, they, they test me every week. My wife's like, every week? Like, could you imagine every week? All right, you're good. You can come to fucking work. And okay, this is great. I'm going to do this every fucking week. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. Who are you people? Um, but my point being is that it is a decision that my wife never would have come to without the planting of seedlings over years, without the manifestation of this in front of her now, and having the courage to connect the dots and see it, and then take correct and right action in the world and say no and not comply with her own slavery for the um, comfortable paycheck that would have been included. So I'm very proud of her. I, I love her very much. I tell her that all the time. But um, if for some reason she were to happen to stumble across this video, now you have it on tape, sweetheart. <laughs> Anyway, um, similarly, same thing happened to my daughter. Uh, her job wanted her to get a test. She had been doing some traveling, and she said, I don't think so, and so now she is two weeks, can't come back to work. Again, not complying with this as school approaches, thinking we're gonna be sticking our kids in masks. What are you, out of your fucking mind? Um, and just pulling your own kids is not enough. The, the, the stink has to be made because people need to be encouraged to step into what is right. Because deep down they know, you know? Um, and if you go into these school meetings or you go into, especially schools where you're paying tuition and you're speaking in front of everyone in the room, factual science that you can back up and prove, and you have this administration in front of you that is going to then say, well, the hell with it. Well, you're going to see, hopefully, a room full of parents start to think and if not, it's still worth the shot because the only way we're getting out of this is again in uh, not complying with our own enslavement individually, but in numbers. It's the only way. It is a numbers game. And um, the only way people are going to do that is by stepping into the actual truth of the world in which they live. Dropping the fear. Dropping that mask that they wear telling themselves either things will go back to normal these people at the top are not as evil as they're uh, looking um, you know I trust in uh, you know whatever deity to get us out of it. whatever masks people put on and realize that you are being charged to stand up for freedom for your own freedom for the freedom of your own children and your fellow brothers and sisters throughout the world, known as all of humanity. Because this is a global control agenda. It is not just a local control agenda. And it is a, a social engineering um, agenda that is consisting of behavior modification to get you to behave a certain way and to accept new ways of behavior in the world. Wearing masks, uh, allowing government to force vaccines into your body. Uh, admittedly, right out of Bill Gates' mouth, he'll tell you, this is geoengineered material we're putting, shoving into the arms of, of uh, children, you know? I mean, he'll have a problem saying shit like that. Let the intuition inside of you resonate into realizing shit, you know? There's no more fence walking here. We're going to have to all individually make a choice and as Jesus said, I do not come to unite the earth. Truth divides. The revelations in the Bible talks about dividing family. Again, there is no 
other division except those that accept truth and those that do not. And what is that truth? The truth that people will argue my truth and, and, and this is, there is one true divide and that is whether or not people believe in slavery, whether or not people believe other people have the right to force themselves onto others by violating their rights, claiming ownership over their body, saying, oh, you got to wear a mask, you got to take a vaccine, um, all based in a baby mindset of thinking you have the right to control others. You know, um, If you cannot see that there is a foundational aspect to what is truly and objectively right and truly and objectively wrong, and that you cannot walk the fence with this evil cult where we are right now because what they are doing is truly objection, objectively wrong. And if you side with that out of fear and the Barabbas mentality of denying truth and accepting the state's evil and criminal activities over what is right because you fear it, because you fear the real truth and fear the realization of what really governs over you, well, then you're no better than the same Bible stories you're supposedly learning from the morals and parables and allegorical stories that Jesus told that are written in the Bible that you're supposed to be learning from, you're no better than any of those lowlifes that were screaming Barabbas, screaming leper, denying Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, or denying uh, you know Jesus three times before the cock crows out of fear. All stories, whether real people walking around the world based in, you know, the teachings of a real man, which, again, I do believe there's an aspect of that that's true, but actually understanding the truisms within those stories and how that behavior is mimicking the behavior of people now, staying in fear mode, choosing fear mode over truth and denying the truth or choosing a reset, monetary reset, the 30 pieces of silver. Love you guys. Get learning. Get